Hello everyone, this is Katerina and I'll bring you the energy report for the 77 Gateway and the New Moon in Cancer over the weekend. And um, wow, these last couple of weeks have been so intense with the summer solstice, the eclipse season, the intense full moon. And um, I've been really feeling those deep shifts and my guide said shifts, shifts and more shifts. <laughs> I don't know how much more any one of us can take at the moment and um, I've been tuning in while I was driving and I thought is there any particular message that I can bring across that helps us going through these immense amount of shifts and they said this um, period now where we are overlighted by Sirius from the 3rd of July to the 11th of August and I think it's called the dog days of Sirius. It's a 40 days period every year where we are um, overlighted by Sirius and um, in Egypt many of the ancient sites along the Nile are aligned with that period of time and the Lion's Gate is fast approaching on the 8-8. And I thought, oh my God, these energies keep ramping up and keep ramping up. And I heard from so many of my clients, quite Katarina, I don't know how much more I can take. And I feel quite the same because we are shifting so much on such a high intensity that there's also that level of exhaustion. And my guide said there are two ways of approaching it. You could... Um, take it for what it is and enjoy this intense roller coaster and um, those moments where things feel light and breezy and then um, you can also go in resistance and feel like oh my god it's never gonna end and I was holding a workshop yesterday and um, the boiler pressure was low so I increased it and then didn't fix it properly so for four hours I had water streaming down my house while I was doing the workshop I could do nothing about it and then my guide said, well, that was a deep cleanse of your home and the, the energy in the house and the pressure release. And I thought, yeah, that really feels like it. And the energy of water is really, really intense. And I mean, I don't know how it is in your country, but certainly where I am in the north of England, um, we have had a very wet spring, a very wet summer. It's cold all the time. And my guide said it's washing away the um, older, heavier frequencies and it also helps, the water helps the nature to absorb the high energies coming in. And um, when we feel like we go into resistance to those energies, it just goes um, beyond basically. So with me in the boiler yesterday, and I thought, Jesus Christ, now I'm holding a workshop. I have to leave the house. I don't know what's going to happen. I couldn't reach my landlord. And I thought, you just have to wing it now. You have to go with whatever presents. And then um, I was having to do food shopping later. And on the drive back, I had a massive bang. And, um, you know, when you have gravel on the road and it hit my front window. And I thought, Jesus Christ, please don't crack. Please don't crack. And it didn't. Um, but it feels like everything is on this delicate frequency at the moment and I think we we easily end up in an energy hangover with that. Oh my God, please, nothing else. Just give me a little moment to integrate all of this. And um, my guide said, um, even in the beginning of May when I was writing about the summer solstice event and then the new moon event, even then I could feel this beautiful energy of this new moon this weekend and I'm so looking forward to it. I've secretly counted days and I thought, all right, this is when the energy shifts. And in the car, my guide said in the tree outside just confirmed it. It's going to be a turning point. So we've shifted those massive amount of really, really deep, heavy old stuff. And we are now going into more lighter territory. So it's almost like... Um, <laughs> I mean, that's a weird picture my guides have given me, but I've lived in Sweden um, and there are there was one winter like always minus 30 degrees, tons and tons of snow. And I feel like I've shuffled snow all the time. And they said, but now all of you have shuffled your snow. So you've created the pathways for that lighter, brighter energy to really sink in. And it doesn't need to filter through the old stuff as much because loads have been going. And in the car, my guides also said, um, with this new moon in Cancer this weekend in July, 
They said what we've been building up now for the last year and a half, two years, that huge momentum, that curve that it will lead to humongous changes in many people's lives. So like turning points on a bigger scale where you feel like, oh, my God, I change my job. I definitely make that shift in the relationship or um, what I always dreamed about and now put it into action. And um, I really felt like, um, yeah, like the Teutonic plates are now shifting into a new setup and it will lead to profound, deep inner changes. And with this turning point, my guides also said, um, I was asking, so what are those um, 40 days of serious overlighting as all about? And my guide said, um, it's going to be a period of time where we have sudden clarity and revelation, and um, but on a much larger scale. And they gave me an image to compare it with a struck by lightning versus a light bulb moment. So up until now, we may had light bulb moments, but now it's like struck by lightning. It's like, oh my God, this is jujum. this inside the clarity. And also, like they said, lightning, it burns away the old instantaneous. So it's not like where you're then, oh, I need to process and this is going to lead to this and da, 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 da. We don't need to go over the old as much because it's like this <laughs> <laughs> instantaneous burn through of the old way like chum, done dusted over with and it's like whoa and i think um with this increased speed for all of us it's also i mean i was trying to think it's like what have i achieved in only four weeks i just really can't believe it and i mean i felt like a fourth day and night but never mind and i feel like many of us experience that the intensity of what's happening in a day in a week is so so amplified and another thing that will happen over these 40 days of series is big, big heart openings. And um, there's a German fairy tale where they say Heinrich, Heinrich or Henry, um, the wagon is breaking. And they're saying, no, the chains that bind my heart are breaking. And that's really the energy what I'm feeling. It is so strong that whatever we constricted maybe over many, many lifetimes is now poof burst with that sudden lightning with that clarity with that expanded energy and it's almost like um it's more painful to keep it locked in rather than having the courage to break it open and my guides also said for some of us it might feel like we're being cracked open and that's when those chains are breaking it's something that we held on for so long where we built up such a momentum around it where it feels harder to say, well, I just let it go. You know, sometimes when it's been so deeply ingrained, long-standing patterns, say our life story, who am I, how has my life been, how I've been perceived by other people, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, there's another layer to me, and I've never acknowledged it. And even events in the past can probably look very different with the new sudden insight and you're like oh my god that changes everything literally everything and that's really the gift of this time so when we allow this roller coaster these light bulb moments versus or the lightning moments oh god um that crack is open that leads to a whole different journey it's it's really from that that's not even stepping up anymore it's like literally that quantum jumping um where that lightning striking you it's instantaneously setting you up for a different frequency and always um in those periods of times and i guess it's going to be till the end of the year i feel like you say that every time it's like no i mean it's an ongoing theme just keep going um that holding that higher level then and anchoring that in your life and doing things where you feel like yeah that reminds me of it and I a couple of times due to tired exhaustion hangover of all these energies I got into a bit of a funk with the old energies and um, I thought what can I do that instantaneously uplifts me and brings me back to a higher mood and at the moment I'm really sensual so any fragrance any um, flowers anything um, that's tangible and visible, live and vibrant, really makes a difference. So music, of course, that always works. Movement is really, really strong at the moment where it feels like, you know, it's so heavy in the body now. 
it just needs to shift out it needs to leave the system in order for us to move on and then um what was the other thing they said um heart openings deep shifts in relationships I just have a look if i um wrote something else um oh yeah and this new moon in um cancer um while i was driving i they've shown me that again um a couple of new moons ago i had a bath in that energy in the evening and i could really tune in and i felt like because the moon is dark we can go much much deeper into space and i could see the stars far more um with a deeper intensity and it's like the moon is a gateway and now that the moon is dark the gateway is open and with Sirius overlighting us oh now and the tree is popping in and he said please mention that i'm your cosmic antenna and i said yeah i promise you so i, I promise the truth to say that because he really expands my capacity to reach higher levels and um while i was standing under the tree and i was pondering the Sirius energy he said um, over this new moon in the new moon activation that I do on Sunday the 11th um, in new moon in Cancer at 6 p.m. UK time, 1 p.m. EST and then 7 p.m. European time. Um, and he said we're going to be overlighted by two Syrian masters. It's a twin flame energy and they've already um are in my energy field so you're gonna receive the energies now in the transmission in the light language and um because of this new moon um in those 40 days we can go much deeper into the high frequencies of the series and there will be activations of ancient wisdom codes and many of us had um past lives in Egypt or other highly accelerated past lives and they're saying they okay they how do you say it now they activate the ancient ascended master codes that we already have within us and they're saying it's only the foundation because I felt the energy and I thought but what you're bringing in is higher than the ancient master codes we had from the past and they said these ancient master codes are like the foundation the building blocks and they going to be installed and then on top of it like doof, 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 we are showered with um the wisdom codes the high acceleration from series and it feels like there's a massive surprise in the store and i can feel there's so much tingling in the air and so many beings from various dimensions have gathered on series in preparation for bringing this light show to the earth so, yeah they're saying it's going to be a light show wow and all right and they're saying this new moon is crucial for everyone to tune in in their own unique way to prepare for these lion's gate activations because they're going to be massive so the foundation will be laid surprises will come we will be deeply healed cleared and rejuvenated it feels so much like when i tried to describe the energy in the car in preparation for the video and i thought how do i explain it and the only thing i could come up with is those soft beautiful fluffy clouds you know in rainbow colors and pearlescent frequencies white and gold so i'm really excited and looking forward to it and before i keep losing track of time and talk forever i rather bring the light language through um and see what's happening Yes, 
ешки ки 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 на 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 ма са са яки ки на на ма са я си 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 на ма на я си си на ма на ешка на на ма са ешки ки на на ма са и на ма са и ва на ми я ки ки на ли Blessed be so mighty being, so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Um, oh, gosh, I'm not quite back yet. Um, oh, wow, that was a beautiful energy. Um, the Divine Feminine, um, Syrian Ascended Masters, Codes, Arcturian, Pleiadian, um, Christ, <laughs> I'm still not really here. Sorry about that. Um, the, there were really high frequencies coming in to align ourselves to lift us out of the shadow. That's exactly what they're saying, lift us out of the shadow. Um, on the new moon activation, they also said that they will fine tune our light bodies so we are more receptive for these um, accelerated higher frequencies. It's almost like they're fine tuning our antenna so we can truly receive them and they're also saying it goes now deeper into our system. So our body has shifted now so much. Our cellular frequencies are so increased so we can absorb it more deeply. It's almost like I'm getting the image, you know, when you have a cocktail with a long straw and then the straw goes deeper into the glass so you get to the bottom of it. And that's what I feel like now. I can put the straw in all the way so we can receive it to the depths and within our core. Um, yeah, this lightness, this shower of exquisite frequencies, it's almost like um, the, the feeling that I have and the, what I'm seeing is like, you know, the, a crowning ceremony where there's so much light and beauty and starlight frequencies streaming in. It's really an intense elevation um, from one place to another and all right, so they are saying that those who want to participate on the um, new moon activation or doing their own thing, but with the frequencies they are bringing through, it's like anchoring your seventh dimensional um, energy coexistence. So it's not only fifth dimension, it's seventh dimensional overall. For some it will be nine and for some it will be even eleventh dimensional frequencies streaming in. And they are <laughs> that's what's happening right now they are also changing the dynamics in our brain so they um will um 
rewire our brain capacity so we can process a higher dimensional frequencies and let go of those deeply ingrained old thought forms and patterns. I'm glad to receive that, trust me. <laughs> I'm very happy to let go of some of those old thought forms from 3D and just ride the higher wave and come from a far more open-hearted place um, so we can really enjoy our life this time on Earth. And yeah, I think this is the longest video I've ever made. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I may see you on Sunday the 11th of July. Um, 11 Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, um, 6 p.m. UK and 7 European Time. And may you have a blessed 7-7 Gateway and a wonderful new moon um, in Cancer. Blessings to you all.